Welcome back everyone. If you didn't know, Valentine's Day is less than a week away. I hope you've already started shopping for that special someone. Sure, you could go with another store-bought box of chocolates or candy for your boo, but boring. There's something better than just some cookies, but they have a personal touch to them. Now, if that sounds like more of your route, Hannah Ragdale may be able to help you out. She's the owner of Bake Someone Happy. Hannah, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. We are super excited. Could you please tell us about your business real quick? Um, sure. I've been doing this for about four and a half years now. Um, I'm located in White House, okay. and um, I mainly do decorated cookies for birthday parties and baby showers and weddings and just all the fun stuff people come up with. I'm sure you make a lot of Kansas City Chiefs cookies. <laughs> I'm doing some for the Super Bowl, yes. Very excited. excited. I knew it. Very so excited. So what has the, um, what do you have planned for Valentine's Day at the shop? So for Valentine's Day, we're doing a cookie decorating class on Saturday. Oh. I have three different times available. Um, we're going to do a morning, afternoon, and evening. Um, the easiest way to get to that is going to be through Facebook. It's facebook.com slash bake someone happy TX. And um, we have a few spots left on Saturday, and then I'm going to do another one at the end of March for Easter and spring kind of theme. Perfect. But that's so exciting. Yes, I feel like that's a very interactive date, especially mm -hmm. even if you're just going with your friend. Mm -hmm. A little Galentine's date thing. Yes. yes. Um, so we actually have some cookies here. Mm -hmm. They're bald right now, but we're going to decorate <laughs> them a little bit here. And while we decorate them, could you kind of give us some tips or um, tricks? Yeah, sure. I'm an amateur, so I need yes. all the help I can get. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, you can grab any of your pinks that you want there. Okay. Um, and if you, whenever you get started, if you just touch down to the cookie first and lift up about an inch away from it and let it drop and kind of do your outline first. Wow. So you're um, a pro over here. Look at you go. How long have you been hosting the cookie decorating classes? This is actually going to be my first official big one. Oh, wow. Um, I've done a couple of small things, but I've had my clients over the years ask me to do them, and I finally decided to go ahead and, and get it done. You know what? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, so for people who are out there who maybe think that they are baking challenged, mm -hmm. um, decorating challenged. Uh, what advice would you give them? Do you, would you say anyone can come regardless of your skill level? Oh, absolutely. Um, it's really not that not that much to it. Um, consistency is key. Yes. Um, and so I'll have all of that already figured out for you. Oh, wow. You knocked um, that out quickly. <laughs> oh, look at her go. Now, once you outline it, if you just squeeze it real good off in there. Mm -hmm. And this is called flooding it. So you just flood it to make a nice straight uh, flat surface to decorate on. And when, how long um, have you been uh, making cookies? For about four and a half years. So since. you're a pro. <laughs> I like to think so. After people <laughs> decorate their cookies at the decorating classes, mm -hmm. do they get to take them with them or do they have to sit? Nope, they'll be able to take them with them that day. I'll have them all um, boxes and ready to go to take with on that day. Very good. Okay, so, ooh, uh, we smooth it out if you, now. Yeah, if you take your little scribe tool there, you can swirl the icing around. Swirl ooh. it. I and feel like I'm on Cake Boss, but Cookie Boss. <laughs> <laughs> and um, for anyone with allergies, um, mm -hmm. what would they have to do to kind of communicate that to you? Um, I do offer a gluten-free okay. option for the cookie classes. Awesome. Um, for just a small fee and um, there's no nuts or anything like that in them, so um, any other allergies, just communicate and I can let them know if we have an issue with that or not. And that's awesome. For um, people who are looking to, do uh, not donate, <laughs> for people who are looking to participate in <laughs> this one, are spots limited? You might have mentioned this. Yes, I have a few spots left for each, um, each time slot, and the, like I say, the easiest way to get to that is facebook.com slash bakesomeonehappytx. Perfect. And where are you located again? In White House. Oh, okay. I, I might have to check you. it out. Right, you oh, gotta share. Do you need another one here? Wait, oh, mine thank isn't. You. Mine's not <laughs> very smooth. It kind of still looks a little bumpy. If you it's stick okay. the it's an scrub in there cookie. and shake it a bit, that'll shake, help shake, it. Shake, shake, shake. <laughs> 
Shake it up. I'm Shake it up. Working on making mine look as good as Hannah's over here, but she's a professional. <laughs> so um, I'm going to just keep on trying. But in the meantime, we definitely do want to go ahead and check in on that forecast. Sarah Blue, she's uh, sure. smoothing out her cactus over oh, here. Hey, I was, I'm from Arizona and I saw the cactus and I was like, ah, this is for me. Yes, it's beautiful. There we go. Hold on. Definitely gotta, no Arizona on. weather today. Yes. Uh, not as good as Hannah's, but yes, definitely no Arizona weather today. We're tracking a bit of drizzle, so maybe a good day to stay inside and bake some cookies.